Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello. Um, <clears throat> right, it's you. Uh, not nothing. Um, sorry, you just look like someone I knew. <laughs> uh, hmm? Do you know me? No. No, you don't. You feel like you know me? That's slightly deranged sounding, but okay. Well, I'm just being honest with you. You don't know me. I promise. <laughs> oh, well. If you feel sure that you do, well. Clearly, reality must bend to your superstitions. It, of course, wouldn't be wise for you to... <laughs> think about it a little more. Okay, so you think you know me. Who am I then? What's my name? Where did I go to school? What do I like? Who am I friends with? Could you answer any of these questions in any way? Well then. Anyway, I should, uh... Be going... Why? What? Yeah, no, I'm not free to talk, at least not really. I, look, what? Why are you... You're holding my arm. Again, you don't know me. Ah, yes, deja vu. <laughs> the way I talk seems familiar. Hmm. Familiar in what sense? Perhaps I remind you of an old teacher or a celebrity or a distant relative or something, something, something. What I do know for sure is that me and you, like this, I've never met. <laughs> well, in any case. Hmm? You want to get to know me? Why? You can't shake this feeling? Now you see... That would rather be your problem, and not mine. So the question I'm trying to ask you is not... How can I help you observe your superstitions? The question I'm asking you... Is... Why should I want to see you again? Huh? Because I haven't walked away. <laughs> oh, do you think this is all some little game? Hmm? Some act. Perhaps I'm just playing hard to get. Hmm. Uh, fine. I suppose I can shift my day around. And what is it you'd so desperately like to spend our time on? You want to go for a walk in the woods? 
What a very peculiar request. You went to walk with someone you have just met in a secluded wooded area. Should I be worried? Am I to be mugged? <laughs> or better yet, attacked, killed perhaps? Hmm. I suppose I can take my chances, but I guess the question is why are you not worried? Hmm? Oh, let me guess. It's your inexplicable feeling of being drawn to me. Well. I suppose a walk could do me some good. It's been a couple of moons since I stretched my legs. Hmm? I have a few days. Why? What did I say before? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Shall we go? The wood you speak of aren't that far away. The sun is setting. Soon the moon will be at our backs. Uh, it's just a saying where I'm from. Don't worry about it. So, shall we go? Uh, what now? Yes, you swear you know me. I Look, can we go to these woods or somewhere else, whatever? Preferably somewhere I can go for a run. Well, I need to run away from you, for one. Also, well, you may or may not have noticed I'm a rather fit man. I'm, in fact, <laughs> a rather excellent runner when I'm in the mood. And I feel a round of sprinting coming on. So my thought is, once you've grown bored of your delusion in the woods, you can head back home and I can, you know, run wild. Mm hmm. What? You feel like I'm not a normal guy. Well, what is a normal guy? Okay, can we stop with the vague illusions as to there being something different about me? Is this what you have to tell yourself every time you're attracted to somebody? Or is it just with me? <laughs> just me. Well, aren't I a lucky boy? Well, here are woods. And I guess... There are fewer, well, no, there's no one around actually, how can I tell, oh, finally tuned instincts, huh, the sun is actually setting, wait, the sun's really set, well, that is surprising. Hmm. Hmm. What? Why am I sniffing? Little human. I thought you had figured it out by now. <laughs> You're drawn to me, you swear you've met me before, you feel like you know me. It was only a few months ago. Are you truly so quick to forget a face? Well, I suppose you never did see my face, did you? 
Or at least, not this one. Maybe it would help you if I went and changed, hmm? <laughs> oh, you'll see what I mean. I'm just throwing on my running gear. Give me a minute. smiling <laughs> recognize me now little human I was amazed it took you so long to start to really realize or did you even really realize I somewhat suspect that you're still amazed that Halloween night wasn't just a joke it wasn't your mind playing tricks on you, or it wasn't just a dream. I am a little bit different to the other guys you meet around town now. Well, what can I say? Several lifetimes of... wolf-like instincts. Wolf-like smells around the apartment. Eternal problems of dating is a like and throat. Well, they do make it interesting when, despite trying to sit quiet and stay to myself, you somehow stumble right back into me. It would be one thing if I would come looking for you. I was tempted many times, but. decided against it. If for no other reason than <laughs> I felt that you were, well, potentially a very special person. A person capable of understanding and well I guess there was a couple of ways to look at it. Firstly, I was scared of ruining my illusion of ruining what for me was the most optimism of feeling night of many, many years. That maybe, just maybe, there was a person who would want to be with me. And then there was the other side of it that perhaps it was better for you to meet someone more standard. Someone who didn't come with so many complications. I, as far as baggage goes, I'm aware that becoming a hulking ten-foot wolf is kind of up there. One of those old two wonderful daytime television shows about the low-life people. You know, my boyfriend slept with my sister and all this kind of ridiculous crap. Well, I think it'd be spiced up by my boyfriend <laughs> ate the entire supermarket supply of lamb flipped over my car and called my mother fat well we were a little, we're a little bit like the Dutch we don't really have a filter for our opinions certainly not in this forum anyway problems, one of the many problems is I felt that you deserved a relationship with someone more stable in a sense. If you're having a bad day and I am like this, I'm not going to be able to <laughs> give you 
forehead scratches without, well, essentially removing your scalp. Nor will I be able to just chill out and watch a film. I need to run when I'm like this, I've told you that before. I need, I need, I need the exercise. For if I don't have it, I truly go stir crazy and, uh, well, be this way, howling in the city, uh, draws some attention. So, I guess, if I'm going to propose that we maybe try to have a relationship, I just want you to know that it's not going to be the easiest. I also want you to know that I was standoffish earlier today because it does scare me when you spend so long, so long it becomes very difficult to really open yourself up to the possibility of being loved or even worse, being left I would never threaten you or anything like that but it would be very difficult for me if I came to trust you and then you decided you wanted something else. I'll accept it, but it will hurt me. So, uh, <laughs> that's one. That is why I want you to be sure with a human that this is something. you would want to live with. Uh, uh, are you hugging me? I'm quite far down there, I can't really see. Ah, uh, yes. I shall try to hug back very gently. Because if I did not see it, <laughs> little human, I weigh, what, three, four times as much as you do. It is almost entirely pure muscle in this form. I think you'll find out I hugged you and squeezed you tight, I would crack your ribs, and, um, that doesn't seem like an ideal start to things, does it? You'll have many things to get used to. <laughs> what? Can, can, can I give you a piggyback ride? Followed by giggling. <laughs> you really are going to be a little light in my life, aren't you? Here I am, a fearsome beast ready to tear apart villages. And you want cuddles with the fluffy werewolf and a piggyback ride. This might work out all, <laughs> all very well in the end. <laughs> very well, little human. Climb on. Let us go for a little walk in the woods. What a sight we would make. <laughs> Found. That's a really unusual romantic walk, wouldn't you agree? Let's hope it's the first of many. <laughs> <laughs>